Hey y'all, welcome. Yeah, so I already did a video on the special case when a is equal to 1, but yeah, here I wanted to show you the general result, partially as a serious video, but partially because, like, uh, what's his face? The dude who, like, thinks, like, markers or pens, that guy and his goons have been, like, posting the same video over and over on the Gaussian, and so, like, I'm, like, also making this video just to be a little bit annoying like them, um, but yeah like um the dude like who like has a fake phd doctor whoever um got it from like the um what is it the recently uh, on the news um like university in pakistan that like grants fake degrees <laughs> yeah that dude has been making like the same videos over and over dude um anyway uh here's how you start um so like if this here right is um I, then so is this right because all I did is change from axis to y's okay and oh yeah as the title says we're featuring Eminem and Dr. Dre in this video so like if this is I and this is I that's easy to see um, so I squared then would be uh, this times that yeah so like um, this is Dr. Dre by the way <laughs> I squared is oh no <laughs> back back to default like get it together boy um all right so i squared is this times that right but um we could go from a product of integrals to a double integral and if you want to understand that better then you could watch um my video on the special case of a equal to one that i already shouted out now nah, that was royce all right um so as i said we could go from product of integrals to <laughs> A double integral and then after this we're gonna go to um polar coordinates Royce's coordinates y'all all right um okay so um we can backtrack and use exponent rules this is Eminem um back to ninth grade um and having studied hard <laughs> like now past all his classes and is doing like a hard calculus problem here so and polar coordinates, dx times dy is r, dr, d theta, right? And again, I explained that in the other video. Um, and I also have a video dedicated to showing why dx times dy is r, dr, d theta. So I'll link that below this as well as the other video. But yeah, also we all know in polar coordinates, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, right? Welcome to my world, uh, lady. All right. Um, so... Where to from here? Yeah. So like, you know, if we draw the x, y axis, right? Like, um, negative infinity uh, to infinity for x mean uh, all the way to west and all the way to east, like, right? From like L.A. to New York and beyond in both directions. And um, for y, negative infinity to infinity mean that you're going all the way south and all the way north, right? So that's like atlanta nah like florida and beyond to cuba that's south right oh yeah on earth though you loop around we're on a plane so that means a whole plane if you're going from negative infinity to infinity oh why <laughs> i can't do this Neg negative infinity to infinity on x but in polar coordinates you can cover the same plane by going radially out from zero to infinity that's r and that's in every direction right radially out means in every direction so you can go northeast northwest any direction you want in fact right like from uh, the origin right but you're going from zero to infinity in r that's all you have to keep in mind just to uh, make clear that you can go in any direction there you go another direction another direction here getting clever on the other direction <laughs> oh wait who's this now um okay so um Eminem, you wanna come on? Um, yeah, um, Slim Shady. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm doing too much. Um, okay, and <laughs> and <laughs> and for theta, R goes from zero to infinity, and. <laughs> And for theta, you want to go all the way around and back, so that's 0 to 2 pi. 
<laughs> okay, so I squared a polar coordinates is going to be, let's set aside the limits of integration for a second. All right, Dr. Dre and Eminem, shut up. I got this. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's r squared. And as we said already, dx times dy is r dr d theta. So, r dr d theta. And, um, of course, like, you have to first deal with the uh, integration of r and then uh, theta, right? So, like, for r, we were going, as we said, from 0 to infinity. And for theta, we said that we're going from um, 0 to 2 pi, right? Okay, uh, and as I said, we have to deal with the integral involving r first, right? The inner integral. All right, now that's just simple u sub. If you let u equal negative a r squared, then what I'm about to show you, which is skipping details, should follow. Like you should be able to get there with just simple u sub, uh, where u is equal to negative a r squared again. And if you do it correctly, this is what you should get. Um, well, first. A horizontal ruler is in order. Um, all right. Come on. Um, negative A should be downstairs. Yep. And uh, we're evaluating from zero to infinity, right? Now, I don't show you the details of that evaluation because, again, very simple. If you plug in uh, infinity, you get e to the negative A times um, infinity, right? Which is like one over a humongous number, which is like zero, right? Like, and so like one over negative a is not going to have a factor. So basically when you plug in infinity, you get zero is what I'm saying. But then you got to do minus plugging in zero. When you plug in zero, you get negative one over a, but there's that minus you got to do and therefore positive one over a. Now one over a is a constant. So you could write it in front of the integral and then you have zero to two pi d theta integral right and that's of course top left let's go let's go um and that antiderivative is just theta theta evaluated from um zero to two pi is fairly straightforward it's just going to be two pi but then we have that constant one over a so i squared be like two pi over a and therefore i is i is um square root of 2 pi over a yeah cool all right um hope you enjoyed this bye